We've all been guilty of biting our nails, but is it more than just a childhood habit? Hey there viewers and welcome back to another Bestie video. Nail biting begins in childhood, but there are people who are just not able to quit once they become adults. Did you know that over 20% of the American population, mainly women, are chronic nail biters? When we think about people who bite their nails, we often think of them as being anxious, but science has something else to say. From being a perfectionist to deep-seated loneliness or lacking patience, in this video we'll be talking about what your nail biting habit can reveal about you. Stay tuned till the end as some points may come as a shock. Number 1. You may be smarter than you think. As surprising as it may sound, nail biting, which is often considered a gross habit, is a sign that you are an organizational perfectionist. If you can't resist gnawing on your nails, then this repetitive behavior indicates that you are prone to boredom and experience higher levels of frustration when your goals aren't met. So the next time you feel the need to bite your nails, don't sweat. It just means that you're too perfect. How do you deal with a stressful situation? Share your ideas in the comments below. Number 2. You may be impatient. Once nail biting gets embedded in your behavior, it becomes your go-to for killing time. You may have seen soccer coaches bite their nails during a high-pressure match. This means that they are unknowingly trying to keep their calm by nibbling on their nails. Sure, it's not something people do knowingly, but when you're feeling impatient and are trying to keep your calm, that's when nail biting comes into play. Number 3. May help you balance your emotions. Another plausible cause for nail biters can be that they experience a brief moment of distraction, escapism, or relaxation. This helps balance out the whirlwind of emotions you may be feeling. Recent studies have shown that people who bite their nails do it on three occasions – when they are bored, stressed, or excited. In such cases, emotional regulation is needed and nail biting somewhat helps in achieving that. Number 4. May be a sign of a nervous disorder the repetitive habit of constantly biting the nails has its roots deeply seated in stress and anxiety, since this is one way of dealing with challenging emotions. Also known as onychophagia, people normally bite their nails when they're either nervous, hungry, stressed, or bored, which share one common link – anxiety. For most people, this habit is automatic and they do it as a reaction to any stressful or anxious situation. Number 5. Genetic Reason there are theories that suggest biting your nails could have been genetically transferred. Research shows that kids who bite their nails have parents who are nail biters as well. Even if the parents quit this habit before the child is born, the child may still develop nail biting tendencies. In some cases, it's also said that nail biting is an extension of thumb sucking. Number 6. Obsessive Compulsive Behavior Nail biting, just like hair pulling, has been reclassified as an obsessive compulsive action. This is because the simple habit of biting nails may prove to be hazardous or harmful for the person's health. Many people who suffer from OCD are plagued by repetitive habits beyond their control, stressful thoughts and fears that are too difficult to control. An obsessive nail biter is not triggered by the nail itself, but by outside factors. Number 7. You may not be happy with yourself. People normally bite nails when they're feeling stressed. This makes them feel better temporarily. Note that nail biters are often overachievers and people with type A personalities. When they're unable to achieve their desired goals, they feel ashamed and easily get disappointed with themselves. Some other theories also suggest that nail biting or picking on the skin around the nail is equivalent to self-harm. Nail biting may be a sign of hostility towards oneself. Before we move forward, did you know that there are foods that can cause anxiety and stress? Here are some foods that should be avoided if you're looking to manage anxiety. Now let's get back to what your nail biting habit reveals about you. Nail biting doesn't necessarily cause permanent damage, but it does have downsides. Here are some reasons why you should stop biting your nails. Number 1. Nail Growth Nail biters have tiny fingernails, since it involves nibbling on not just the nails, but also the cuticles and the nail tissues. This is the result of not allowing your nails to grow properly. Chronic nail biting causes some serious, and in some cases irreversible, damage to the tissues surrounding the nails. This leads to weird or abnormal looking nails. Number 2. May spoil your smile. Your teeth are tools designed for the sole purpose of chewing food. When you use them for anything other than that, like chewing your nails, it may cause a shift in the placement of your teeth. It could require some dental work to correct or lead to damaged enamel and tooth loss. The germs under the fingernails may also cause tooth infection or irritation. Number 3. May make you sick. It is a known fact that your hands are a hotbed of germs. Your nails are the perfect hideout even if you regularly wash them. Putting your fingers in your mouth greatly increases the chance of developing a fever or getting sick. Additionally, the skin damage caused as a result of nail biting gives the germs an easy way into your body. 
Number four, increases the risk of infection. Pyronychia is an infection of the nails, a result of constant nail biting. Its symptoms include painful red and swollen areas around the nails, mostly at the cuticle. It can even happen at the site of a hangnail or some finger injury. In case the infection is bacterial, it may even lead to blisters. Also, if you're unknowingly chewing on nails that have warts and then go on to bite other nails, this will cause the infection to spread. <laughs> yeah, pretty gross. Number five, more hangnails or ingrown nails. If you have the habit of nail biting, then you're likely to have more hangnails. These hangnails are basically open sores that are prone to infection. Ingrown nails develop mostly on the toes. However, nail biting will cause the nails to grow under the skin, which is painful and may even require surgery when the situation gets too bad. This habit is difficult to stop, but not impossible. With little time and effort, you can bring this habit to an end. Here are some tips to help you quit. Number one, keep nails short. Long nails are an open invitation for nail biters. Keeping them trimmed is the first step to quitting this harmful habit. Be sure to cut the nails. Take care of hangnails and ragged edges so that you are not tempted in any way to bite them. Number two, identify your trigger. The most common trigger for nail biting is ignoring your anger or unsolved issues. It can be work-related stress or mindlessly munching on your nails. It's important to identify your trigger points to learn what makes you chew on your nails. It could even be certain people, settings, scenarios, or specific events. Number three, manicure your nails. Sound fancy? Apart from being a stress-relieving activity for many, regularly manicuring the nails tends to lower the chances of nail biting. The reason being, it's a costly and time-consuming activity. It's been proven that the financial incentive that comes with manicured nails helps break this habit. Number four, make them taste bad. Coating your nails in a foul-tasting polish will be another great way of kicking the habit. So every time you go to bite your nails, you'll have a disgusting taste in your mouth. Other than that, fake nails are also a great way of stopping the habit. For example, acrylic nails are too thick and solid, which makes it difficult to bite and may bring this habit to a halt for a long time. Number five, be mindful. Mindfulness is in fact the secret key to fighting your nail biting urge. While biting your nails, think about the taste of your nail, the amount of harm you're putting your nails through and the pain in your hands. Pausing to think about this may help you realize that this habit is anything but beneficial. Once you realize that nail biting is not a reward for any stressful situation and is in fact a gross habit, you'll be able to quit. Nail biting is an annoying habit done by a lot of people. Whatever the reason you bite your nails, it's important to stop. Wondering if your nail biting is a result of stress? Check out these obvious body signs of stress. Also, see what your nails have to say about your health. These two videos will help you recognize the signs of stress and lead to a healthier you. Are you an ex-nail biter? What helped you put an end to this habit? Share your creative ideas in the comments below.